So we're going to take a look at mushroom down here. It's called jelly ear, an edible mushroom, and it grows prolifically on dead and decaying elder. So we've got an elder tree over here, and obviously this branch has fallen off at some point, and it's started to decay. The jelly ears have grown onto it, uh, and they're digesting that, that wood, and at the same time producing this incredible, obscure, really weird, edible wild mushroom. So if we take a look at the mushroom itself, it's called jelly ear because it actually looks like a jelly version of an ear. Even inside has little veins that almost look like the inner veins inside an ear and folds. It's incredible how it looks. Now the texture's a bit odd. It's quite jelly-like. Um, it almost has like a velvety cap to it on the top. Specifically, it grows on elder. Not all the time it does grow on other dead and decaying woods, but if you can identify elder, then it makes the job much easier. Jelly ears tend to space downwards, the cup facing downwards. As long as you've got downward facing cup that's slightly brownish in colour and it's grown on elder, then you've definitely got jelly ears. Now, jelly ear as a mushroom to touch and to taste, you'd think this is not an edible mushroom that I'm going to enjoy. And it's not a mushroom that's closely related to our standard mushroom that we buy in the shops and the texture wise is not related to it at all. In fact, in Western cooking, there's not really much reference of using jelly ears. However, in Eastern cooking, it's classed as a really highly prized edible mushroom. In fact, it's one of the most cultivated mushrooms in the world. Over there, it's called wood ears. So if you search for recipes for wood ear, you'll find good recipes that you can use jelly ears in. There's a couple of different things you can do with it. So at the moment, it's really hydrated. You can see it's really jelly-like. Um, but it can be dry as well, so if it was really hot here, these would all dry out and they would curl up. But then as soon as it hits liquid, it'll rehydrate. So we can dehydrate it and rehydrate it, and you can play around that a little bit. So you can dehydrate it, um, which stores it really well, and then you can rehydrate it into things like stocks to make a, a really umami, rich flavour in it. Or you could rehydrate it in something like um, orange cordial or one of the berry cordials, let's say you've made some elderberry cordial, you rehydrate it in that. And then you've got like a, a berry flavoured jelly sweet. You can dip that in chocolate and turn it into chocolate, or you can freeze it and have it as a frozen jelly sweet. There's quite a few different things you can do with it there. Or you could dip it into um, sugar and make it into like its own mushroom sweet candy. Just one of the obscure ways you can use some of the wild mushrooms that you don't get in the stores. One of my favourite things to have with this is, it sounds really odd, but once you've had it, you'll realise how nice it is. It's called a wood ear or jelly ear salad. So you'd take these dehydrated, you'd rehydrate it in stock, and then you'd put these with soy sauce, ginger, diced shallots, garlic, wild garlic, fermented wild garlic would be really nice actually with it. Um, and then you let it rehydrate, so you do that for about 30 minutes and then you just add it with some really lightly diced salad leaves um, and just enjoy it like that. It's really, really tasty. It sounds odd, but I remember the first time I saw it on a menu, um, it was literally woody jelly ear salad. It sounded really strange, but when it came out, it was a big bowl of rehydrated jelly ears and all this uh, nice flavor, and the flavor was incredible. Yeah, really changed my mind on jelly ears. So jelly ear can be used in both sweet and savory foods. And you usually find quite a lot of it when you come across it. So this whole piece of wood, all the way up to the tips, is just covered with these hydrated edible wild mushrooms.